hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video i am going to show you how to use valorant elo tracker if you are new here consider subscribing i stream valorant on saturday and sunday 11 30 am indian standard time so yeah let's get started guys so basically you need to download two things the links will be in the description these are the two things you need to download for the first thing you go down below you download this thing you click download the other thing you have to download is the dotnet core 3.1 runtime okay so you have to download this download x86 one so you just click it it will get downloaded then you go to your downloads folder so what you need to do you need to install this first this is the runtime install it in here you click yes once it's done click close so for the second one you need to extract the files first once the files are extracted it, you will have these three files so you need to double click this application once you click it click run anyway then it will show you this pop-up welcome you have to set your username and password in the settings menu now in this app you right click anywhere and click settings then in the settings you have to pass your right username and right password so i am going to pass in mine once you are done with username and password then you you have to select your region so for me i am asian so i will specify asia pacific and for the second you need to choose anything you want from the drop down so for me i i just set it to default and for the refresh i will i have set it to default as well it's 30 seconds and then you have to click apply click ok it will say you have to reboot it click ok it will take some time then you have to double click again here is your rank and your elo points for elo points uh, it's going to start from 0 all the way to 2100 plus and for iron 1 it's 0 to 100 for iron 2 it's 101 to 200 and so on and so forth these are last three matches so i have won the last match uh, this is the match before that and this is the match before that so these two matches i lost i will show you in the game as well so in my game if i go to my career tab so you can see i have lost three matches two of those i have lost and the latest one is i have won so now let me show you how to set it up in the Streamlabs or OBS Studio. So what you have to do, go to your Streamlabs or your OBS Studio. So in your OBS Studio, you have to choose any of the scenes wherever you want your Valorant ELO tracker to appear. You choose any of these because I have to show you how to set it up. So I will choose display capture for now. So what I, I will do is I will click add here. Then I will click add window capture. I will rename it to re ELO Tracker. Click Add, and then from the window drop down, I will choose the Valorant Overlay window. Then click Done, and it's done for you. Now you can resize it; it will also appear on your stream. Okay, guys, that will be it for this video. I hope the tutorial was sufficient to teach you how to use the ELO Tracker. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.